Okay, yeah, this seems like big enough news to make a video about. Hey everyone, Steve Dangle here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel for the first time in a long time, and we have two large pieces of news in the hockey world surrounding the Montreal Canadiens. First and foremost, I'm sure you heard the Carolina Hurricanes offer sheet is Sperry Cook and Yemi one year, one point six bunch of pettiness, whatever those numbers are. The Montreal Canadiens have decided not to match, meaning Jesperi Kotkaniemi is now a member of the Carolina Hurricanes, one year, 6.1, again, blah, 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 whatever it is, but the Montreal Canadiens get that first round pick and third round pick as offer sheet compensation, and they turn around and they make a deal with the Arizona Coyotes for Christian Dvorak. The trade is essentially Christian Dvorak in exchange for a first round pick and a second round pick, but there are a bunch of conditions on it, and one of those picks isn't until 2024. Here are the most important parts before we get into the nuts and bolts. The Carolina Hurricanes stole Jesperi Kotkaniemi from the Montreal Canadiens. They had a successful offer sheet. When do you ever see that in the National Hockey League? The Montreal Canadiens now have Christian Dvorak on their team, and the Arizona Coyotes, after having no picks, now have a ton. For example, this upcoming draft, Arizona doesn't have their own seventh, but they do have their own sixth, their own fifth, their own fourth, their own third, FIVE second round picks that is not an error, and two firsts. Actually, actually, you want to know what's amazing? Cap Friendly hasn't updated yet, so they actually have more than that. Shout out Cap Friendly, I'm not giving you crap, it is after all the Saturday of a long weekend. So, let's talk about this. Um, Carolina. I like that they had a successful offer sheet in that it makes the league more interesting. It's nothing for or against Jesperi Kakaniemi, it's nothing for or against the Montreal Canadiens. And, in a vacuum, the move is actually smart. Too many people are getting caught up on the 6.1 number. The pettiness of it all is very fun. For example, the Carolina Hurricanes now have a contest on their Twitter account where you can get a $20 gift card. The $20 is in reference to Sebastian Ajo, who the Montreal Canadiens tried to offer sheet. There's the $20 signing bonus in Kakaniemi's contract. There's a 15 in there because that's his number with Montreal delete delete with the Hurricanes. There's all the pettiness, but now that the offer sheet has actually gone through, it's kind of back to business, and now the Montreal Canadiens have to fill a gap. They did, and the Carolina Hurricanes now have to live with Jesperi Kokkaniemi making about, or a little bit more than, $6.1 million. Here's why you don't get too caught up in that number. Because, as Elliot Friedman has theorized out loud on several outlets, including the 31 Thoughts podcast, the Hurricanes, because Kokkaniemi has been a restricted free agent, they can talk to him, so they would know roughly what his long-term number is. They can't sign him to an extension until, I believe it's January 1st, but once that hits, they can. So, for example, he's making 6.1 now, this season, which is too much. Everyone involved knows it's too much. Montreal, even Carolina, yes, Barry, why do you think he signed it? He said, that's too much, I'm gonna sign that, please, give me the too much. What's the deal gonna be? Is it six years? Is it seven? And what's the number? What's Kakaniemi's number gonna be? It's gonna be fascinating to me. The number that I came up with as just a guess is roughly the contract that the Leafs gave Nazem Kadri once upon a time. And he was coming off a pretty bad year, which Kakaniemi kind of is. He had 20 points, just five goals in 56 games. Granted, as a seldomly used 20 year old, but uh, that contract that Kadri signed was six years, 4.5 million. It was a contract that he was supposed to grow into as he got older and better, and he did. Kakaniemi didn't have a very good season. I don't know if he's the best NHL player just yet, but he's also a former third overall pick and just 20 years old. The Carolina Hurricanes do not offer a first and a third and grossly overpay him by at least double, maybe triple. They do not do that without believing in this player. So at very least they believe in this player. And they took advantage of a situation with the Montreal Canadiens that kind of screws them. And if you're a fan of just interesting things happening in hockey, this is great. This is good. This is, Montreal was in exactly the position where if nobody offersheeted anybody on that team, you should be going, why not? Why not? 
Why isn't anyone taking advantage of... Okay, they just lost an extraordinarily important center. They're going to move Kakaniemi up into that extremely important center slot. Surely, you would think, so they're going to lock him up. Oh, they didn't? And you can just talk to him? You can just negotiate a contract with him? What's that? You can sign it with him? Why aren't we doing this? Why isn't everyone doing this? Oh, and they're up against the cap. Why aren't we all doing this? Carolina did have the added incentive of Montreal tried this against them a few years ago. Everyone's focusing on the feud and the pettiness of all that. But the fact of the matter is, the Montreal Canadiens were an ideal target for this. Carolina proved that by issuing a successful offer sheet. They got the guy, and I think most teams would have got the guy. That being said, I do think Montreal made the right choice here. They made the right choice not matching because I just don't think there's a match here. Kakanyemi, so young, he could have fit their window, but they don't seem totally satisfied with that player. Dvorak seems like a guy who they'll like a little bit more. They're going to be hungry for more playoff success. They're not going to be as interested in projects. What are you talking about? They got Nick Suzuki and Cole Caulfield, and do they play like projects to you? If the Habs match the offer, then they have to qualify Kotkaniemi next year at $6.1 million, which is a nightmare for them, and it doesn't make any sense. Lose the player, take the picks, get another player who matches your position a little bit better and I think that's Dvorak. It's not the worst move and not the worst weekend for the Montreal Canadiens at all. So I like that Carolina had the creativity. I like that they executed this properly. Boy is their offseason weird! So the owner Tom Dunnan is apparently somewhat involved in this. It's difficult to know to what degree because he did not enjoy the offer sheet from a couple years ago. They have the money for like funny, petty little giveaways, like $20 to the gift shop for a bunch of people. And also a $6.1 million offer sheet to a player who super does not deserve to be making $6.1 million at this point in his career. And let's put a funny little signing bonus in there because it's hilarious. And also the head coach has to beg for his assistants and everyone else who works under him to be paid adequately. And also Alex Nedeljkovic, was like a, a Calder level goalie for us last season, but we're not going to give him $3 million and, and we're going to give him up for a third to the Detroit Red Wings and we're going to let Dougie Hamilton walk and give him, uh, I think, roughly what we offered uh, 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 Jesperi Kokinian. What? I didn't even mention the D'Angelo thing. Oh, well, there we go. They don't have any money except for when they do. Can I have $6.1 million, Tom? Are you still in the mood for jokes? Hi, I was hoping to apply for a Finnish passport. Was I born th No. Give me the funny meme contract, Ketos, very much. I think Carolina was a very good team. I think Carolina is going to continue to be a very good team. And I think Jesperi Kakaniemi is going to thrive as a member of the Hurricanes, but boy is that team weird and almost every story surrounding them. I can't wait to see what weirdness they get up to next. And now the Montreal Canadiens go from a center depth of Philip Deneau, Nick Suzuki, Jesperi Kokaniemi, and Jake Evans to uh, Nick Suzuki and Jake Evans to, oh wait a sec, Nick Suzuki and Jake Evans, and they get Christian Dvorak, and apparently Jonathan Drouin is going to give it a try. I mean, the biggest compliment I could give the Montreal Canadiens at the end of this process is I think they got better. It's nothing against Kakanyemi. I do think he will be better than Dvorak one day, but at the moment, Dvorak's the guy. And this season, while Montreal's trying to do stuff, he makes 4.5 or a hair under instead of 6.1 and a hair over. Carolina also got better too, by the way, on account of they got Jesperi Kakanyemi, who's all right so far, gonna get better, and if they sign him long term, he's probably gonna get even better than that. And the Arizona Coyotes, well, honestly, like, I, it, for any fans who have, like, season seats and are watching, that, like, like, they shouldn't have any members of the actual Arizona Coyotes on the tickets. It should just be draft prospects for 2022. Every Coyotes jersey they sell this season should come with a Velcro nameplate. So even though this isn't technically a three-way trade, is it just me or did the Carolina Hurricanes, Montreal Canadiens, and Arizona Coyotes all kind of get what they wanted here? I guess my question is, who did the best? Leave a comment in the comment box down below. Who won this three-way trade that wasn't actually a three-way trade? And hey, mm, mm -hmm, I want to know this. 
Who's next? Who will be the next to get offer sheeted? Please tell me we're not done. Training camp doesn't start yet. Do it now. So, huh, that was fun. For now, that is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. I almost forgot how to do it. Okay, that is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. There we go. There we go. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really like it. Tell all your friends, sdpn.ca. And hey, why don't you have yourself a safe and fantastic happy long weekend.